This is an epic battle right now. We're going psh, psh, head to head. American Flow Troll versus the heavyweight champion of the world, Australian Flow Troll. And we hope the underdog takes the cake. We're going to do this battle head to head. We're going to go gloves off. Pause. So what I'm doing with video 34, I'm looking into the differences between the heavyweight contender, as people call it, all strand flow trawl versus my recipe for American flow trawl to make a cell activator. That's our essence and what we're doing right now. So what I'll do is really quickly, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna mix each one the way I mix them, three to one. That is three parts flow trawl to one part paint. The only thing I'm doing as far as paint tonight, I'm gonna use Amsterdam Titanium White, which is one of the key ingredients to making really good cells. You can make your cell activator with a lot of different things, but your Amsterdam paints, man, they got some in them. They got some in them. So if we can get a close up on this here scale, I always use the scale. If I'm gonna measure things correctly, we'll shut that scale off. We're not shutting it off. Come on. Okay. Now we're going to tear the scale with the cup on top so that it says zero. Inside of there, I'm going to measure. And if you look up here, I took this bottle of Australian float dryer. Shake, shake and bake like. You remember those old commercials? It's shaking bacon, I help! That's right, I shook it like crazy. So this is, woof, man, it's shook. And then I'll take it and I'll drop it in there. You gotta do the math, maybe six. Ooh, what's that look like? So if we get to 12, Get yourself to 12, then you're gonna have to put four of paint. That's just this, when you look up here, the Australian Floetrol. So when you get to 12, to be three to one, four, eight, 12. That's simple math, four, eight, 12. So now you tear this, and you're gonna put your paint at four. <laughs> Ooh, jeepers, we got stuff flying all over the place. And getting her to four. One. Oop, is that four already? Yeah, heavy four. I'm gonna do some cleanup over here. Was that four? Well, we got a little heavy four. We're all the way to six. So we'll find out. Guess we should have had that bottle flipped up right like mustard bottles. Start mixing it. We look at the consistency. I'll be able to tell. Yeah, it's about still three to one. Right inside that cup. And don't be a lazy mixer, man. You got a mixy, mixy mix. You just keep mixing this till you hurt. Your arms hurt. You go to Olive Garden, you want some cheese? They better be sweating. I'll get it done. So I'll get that close. I have to clean up my little spot here. We'll do the same thing. It's the American flow trawl, but the American flow trawl, yes, it needs a little bit of help. So I'm gonna change out my gloves so nothing contaminates the other side. One or two, one glove, oh, give me two gloves. 
It's like chicken and steak. You don't want to cross contaminate. So I put my buddy over here for now with our Australian flow draw. Then we're going to make an American flow draw recipe. Some of us, we can't afford to just bust out a bunch of Australian flow draw. We hit this thing. Well, that's not what we want. Go to zero so the cup doesn't weigh anything. And I have, if you look up here, taking this American flow chart on it. I shook it, shook it like crazy. I've been shaking this all day long. So it's shaking really. You want a strainer, like one of these here. It's, like I've said before, this is like a fencing mask. You put the mask on. It's like a, yep, fencing mask. You're gonna put your fencing mask right over top of the strainer. And you're gonna strain this. Oh man, looky here, looky here. We got two things. We got a little debris and we got a bulb of hair. <sighs> Those of you who know me, you know who Bubba is. Bubba's got a dog hair in there. Can't have that. So then we'll strain some of this American flow draw. What are we at? Six? Six is fine. Now if you look real close, we'll get this out of the way. Look at these little boogers stuck inside of my strainer. That's why you strain the American flow drill. There's these little weird, I don't know, worms or boogers. Or, there's stuff you don't want in there, that's for sure. So after we're done here, we'll put that in the sink and rinse it out. Can't have that. Get another paper towel. Clean off our little business here. So now to this flow trawl, we're gonna add two milligrams. Like these little, you can buy these anywhere, a little squeezy. You wanna suck up two milligrams of water. That's perfectly two milligrams of water. You put them two milligrams in there, you start to mix that up. What you're doing is you're thinning out the American flow draw, which in my opinion is Australian flow draw thinned out. So in America, we have our really good flow draw, and to sell it to a different country, I think we just thin it out. That's my opinion. I'm sure there's a bunch of opinions, but that's my opinion. All it is to me is thinned out American flow draw. So you thin that out. You look at the consistency. Once you're, oops, you're squeezy. It's, it's close to the Australian, like consistency. To your American flow draw, I take this little stuff here, Minwax pre-stain. Get my little can opener if I can find it, which I probably can't at this point. Let's hope this stick opens it. Hey. And I'm gonna put about seven drops inside of here with this stick you get it on there and you can just go one two three four five six seven six we'll go eight eight drops don't put that stick back in here and then mix that up you're done with your scale Get your scale out your way. Put your lid back on this or your wife will get mad because the whole house smells like it. At least mine will. 
and start mixing. And here comes the fun part, everybody. We're gonna talk about success. Success has a smell. I'm not condoning you do this, but I'm doing it right now. Ugh, just, that smells like success. Hope I don't have a white mustache, but that smells like success right there. Go look at the consistency. And it's the same milky yumminess that the Australian ends up with. And if you take it, not that this camera will ever see this right now, you take it and scoop on the sides. That white stuff makes little cells on the sides in here. So you know you're doing good. So for today, we're gonna do two test blobs. Australian flow straw. American flow troll. Those are my CAs. We're gonna do two test blobs. Australian, American. Super expensive, relatively cheap. Some of us can't afford this. Someone gave me this one for free. <laughs> I have a couple bottles I paid for, but somebody gave me this one for free. So I'm using it. And it's right here. Everything has been right here the whole time. Do our little test blobs. We're gonna do one and one. Australian, American, and we're gonna see what happens. Got my little torch here. In case there's some bubbles. And one of the keys is, people, don't be a lazy mixer. You have to mix, no matter what it is. Your paints, which are about to go through really quick, and anything, Floetrol, your CA, and I'm just doing white right now, but most of the time I'll do a couple color CA, because you want it to do things, but we should be on the right path, hopefully. Either All of these, three in one. This one's a little more volume because of what I did. This one's less because of what I did, but three to one. And, whew, man, I'm not saying sniff it, but sometimes you can, you can smell success. You've heard that statement before, you can smell success. So for the rest of this, as we go fast, we're just gonna bust out these colors super quick. I got this nice Arteza set of mica powders that is just, ooh, man, that's glorious stuff. It's glorious. So what I did, I mixed up some colors. And first off, I have my wonderful Liquitex Basics. <laughs> Tholo Cellulonine Green? Tholo Cellulonine? I mean, you get close. I mean, that's what it is. Tholo Cellulonine. Hard to like pronounce, but that's Tholo Cellulonine Green. And with that, I put a little color, color art, primary elements, peacock feather. That's my first color. And these colors have been inspired by a beautiful young lady's eyeballs. She, she has sent me a couple pictures of her eyeballs that are just the craziest green. I can't even explain them. So I'm gonna to try to recreate them with a painting. So here you got two greens. The next one is an Arteza that I just bought out of this wonderful package. And this one is lemongrass green no way this is spring green okay so i gotta go backwards with that that's spring green so this is a spring green and you can get in here and see the consistency of it, it just kind of drips down and dissipates after about one or two seconds that's spring green 
The next one, oof, if I don't spill it, is lettuce green. E, I could see that as lettuce. That's some lettuce. Same consistency. If you want to know the exact consistency of how I mix paints, you see my Believe pouring medium. You go to video 20, and I go through exactly how to make my pouring medium. Got a little bit of Minwax and polycrylic for a backup right in this tub here, in case I need to thin one of these. But you go to video 20, you go to video 20, you'll see how I mix all my colors, all my paints. So there's that lettuce. So this next one, that's that lemongrass green. Lemongrass green. Oh, and it's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. The last one is Pure Gold by Arteza. All of these are Artezas. That Pure Gold is like, ooh, man, oof. Yep. So we're going to use those colors with this epic battle between Australian Floetrol or American Floetrol. We're going to do two test blobs. And we're going to solve this battle right here and now. Gloves are off. So I'm going to take it step by step here. And then we'll add our cell activators to each one of these. And we're going to get her done. No shifty camera. No, I'm not about to mess with nothing. We're going to take each one and I'm going to layer each color at the same time. So we'll take this. It's a little mixture between the Liquitex and that color art. Put that as my base on each one of these. And we'll take that next Arteza color. And like I said, we're trying to recreate someone's eyeball color. Oof. So we're just going to put this right in the middle. I don't normally go right in the middle. I usually squiggle, squiggle, but we're going right in the middle right now because that's how her eyes look. Go to the next color. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Go to the next color. Right in the middle. Right in the middle. Go with that gold color at the end. And then honestly, pay attention. We're gonna take this skewer to this giant little, if you get it close up here, someone's about to get evicted. Get out of here. You, you didn't pay rent. Get it. Go. We got two of you, too. There's one over here. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. That was easy. On the right. Or your left. Yeah. We're going to take the Australian Floetrol. And as soon as we put it down, we're going to blow it out. Sure, it makes a nice little halo. And then we'll blow it out. This will be hard for the camera guy to understand here. Gotta get in close. Let that clicked up. Hit it with a torch a little bit. Just 
let that do what it's doing. Those cells look nice. Okay, so that's the Australian flow draw. Now we'll do the little bit of here. American Floetrol recipe. Way cheaper. And some people just can't get that Aussie Floetrol. Put a white right in the middle here with our cell activator. Give it a second. And we'll blow her out. Give it a second, that looks a little milky. Might have had a, just a little bit less Amsterdam paint than I needed. Which is what it looks like. So we're gonna do this, we're gonna look at it. Drop in. Just a little bit more. If we can get there. Come on, we'll paint. There we go. Drop in about another gram of paint. Because that's looking way too milky. We'll scrape this off. Mix her up real good. We'll start over. We'll see if this makes a halo. It's not working as fast as I would like, but it is making cells. I may need to spread a little bit more.
So it takes a little bit longer. If you look though, that's making some nice cells. It is definitely making nice cells. A little straw blow stuff out. It's making nice cells. But, yeah, I mean, if you want a true comparison, I'm not bashful. If you want to look at it and you want to see what happens, in my opinion, and it's always been my opinion, and I don't waver myself to other people's opinions. If you want my true opinion, you take yourself, you spend the money, you get yourself into that spot where you are honestly buying, and you don't get wrong, Get yourself some of that Australian flow troll. Hands down. I mean, it's one ingredient. It's one ingredient versus a few ingredients, which don't get me wrong, as it keeps developing, look, it looks beautiful. Look at that side. Look at this side. It's it's starting to get more and more beautiful, but if you want quick results, I'm just saying spend the money. Do what it takes. Make yourself happy with art. You want them quick results? Just get yourself that Odyssey flow draw and do it to it.